Hi friends, welcome or welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone has been doing well. First and foremost, please let me apologize that it has taken me two weeks to get this video out, but it has been kind of difficult. I am going to just say that. Anyway, we are working on the museum part. We've left Blathers in the tent. I am so excited for this build. He's a botanist. He's got the community garden, a whole bunch of mushrooms and plants surrounding him. And I, I am just really excited about this build. It was a very small area, but it was actually probably one of the more difficult areas for me to figure out how I wanted to design and how I wanted to decorate. So. That's kind of the reason why it took me a little bit longer to get this out. Um, I wanted to have it out for y'all last Sunday, but I just, I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. And I'm sorry for that. I do hope that you enjoy the video. Um, I'll be popping in and out with little snippets of commentary, but really just enjoy it. I'm so happy to see y'all again. made that cute little public garden sign. I'm really proud of it. This is also where our rock garden is going to be, but because, you know, when you're making a rock garden, it's pretty much the last thing you have to do on an island. I can't place the rocks here just yet, but I did want to have it splayed out. So when we're getting ready to do the rocks, it's like one less thing that we have to do. And then we'll finish decorating this. This will probably be the very last video um, is decorating this one small little area uh, once we get the rocks in. But I did want to explain that while I, why I was doing that now. I just wanted to make sure that the area was already set for it. But yeah, that's where the rock garden is going to go. And I'm really excited about it. I think it's going to be really cute there. Um, we're going to put lots of flowers, lots of weeds, and we're just going to make it look garden-y. <laughs> 
And one other thing that I want to do with the community garden is I really love the bushes on day two of growth. So I'm thinking that I'm going to plant bushes in the empty slots on the community garden area, but I'm going to let them grow to day two and then I'll set the DA and then that way they don't grow anymore after that because I haven't figured out how to stunt bush growth. So if anybody knows how to do that, please let me know. I, I would love to know it because I love day two bushes growing. They're so cute and so tiny. They're like little mini trees. culprit for why this video took me so long to get out. I could not figure out what to do with this stretch of land, so I ended up taking it all down and demolishing it. Originally, I had put it up because I thought it would be like a good thing to have up to reduce the access to the beaches because like I said, there isn't going to be much on the beaches. There's not really going to be beach access, but I just, I couldn't figure out how I wanted to decorate it. So I just completely nuked this idea and it definitely made my brain feel better <laughs> because I got to stop thinking about what I was going to do with it. And then I was in a friend's stream one night and she was doing this really beautiful Japanese style roll area. And I love that. And she was talking about, you know, layering and, doing things like that and it's kind of a style that I've never really tried. Um, I'm not, I haven't gotten very comfortable with layering so I'm working on it here. I'm testing it out. Let me know what y'all think. I actually had to go over this area a couple times because it was like oh gosh I can't stand how that looks. Um, but please let me know what you think of this small little area because I did redo it and you are going to see that I redid it a couple times throughout this part of the video. But this was still such a difficult part to decorate and it's not even a big area. 
which was mind boggling to me. But we got it done. I am truly so happy with the end result. Oh, low battery. <laughs> um, and I really, I really do hope you guys enjoy it. Friends, thank you so much for watching this video. If you did enjoy it, please make sure to like, subscribe, and turn those notifications on so you'll get notified the next time I post a video. As always, the creator codes and my socials will be down in the description. And if you want to watch Fern come to life in real time, you can come over to Twitch. My handle is Kelly's Crossing, where I stream Monday through Friday. And you can watch Fern come to life. Also, we are officially a five-star island keep that lily of the valley so exciting anyway i hope you all have a wonderful time zone i will see you next time bye